Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I know it's been a very long time making videos. So I thought let me make a video today. So this video is going to be regarding my riding gears which I use and hope you like it guys. So the first riding gear which I would recommend it's like very very important to get this and that's the the helmet. So as you all know I'm using the empty Revenge 2 series helmet and uh, I have made a separate video on this a uh, complete spec video so I'll just drop an i button in the corner you could just go there and see if you want to know the spec of this and the certifications which it has and how much it costs yeah like the price it costs somewhere close to 9000 I don't remember the exact uh, amount of this it's a very great helmet guys I'm using this from past 8 months and it's, seriously it's very good and it serves a purpose it's a great value for money and the next riding gear which is also very important for your hands it's the riding gloves so this is the storm evo 3 riding glove it's a full concrete glove it's really a very beautiful glove guys it serves the purpose and for the price i gave it's i'm like very satisfied with this glove I've taken this on so many trips and it's so beautiful. Speaking about this club, it has uh, foam paddings over here and over here too and even in the finger section, the thumb section so that when you fall it doesn't scrape your uh, fingers and it has Nox armors in this palm section so whenever you fall, you fall like this right? You fall like this and you slide your hand in the road. So nothing will happen to your palm section because they have given the Nox armors over here and there is a double stitched uh, leather fabric over here so that like it doesn't give any impact uh, while sliding on the road uh, there is a carbon fiber the original carbon fiber uh, over here for protection so that uh, this bone gets protected so that's why it's a full concrete glove I love full concrete gloves because it covers the whole part of your hand they also have vents over here so that the airflow is uh, there inside the club. The airflow is really decent guys. There are two belts. One is over here, this one and one is over here. This is for adjusting uh, the tightness of your hand in this part and this is for locking it thoroughly. So this is a very good glove and it's especially made for touring. So I would recommend this glove. Also. This uh, pinky finger, as you can see, is attached with this finger with a cloth over here, a leather cloth. So uh, whenever you fall, many of the cases, uh, the pinky finger actually f gets fractured. Uh, in order to prevent the fracture or any other uh, kind of stuff, so they have stitched this together so that you will not be able to move your uh, pinky finger from this finger. This actually supports this finger. You can use your uh, phone phones through this. It has a, a phone touch. I don't know what they call this but it has a phone touch so it's very useful while uh, riding and using phones for GPS. Okay, they have given a special grip over here which is very useful. I did not feel anywhere even while saddling I did not feel that uh, I lose control over this handlebar. So it's very good. Uh, it's very rigid. And I, I just feel very comfortable wearing this glove. The cost of this glove is approximately 5850 but seriously it's worth the penny you give because it's very good and uh, I feel so confident while riding using these gloves. So the next gear I would recommend is the base layer. Okay, <laughs> the base layer. This is actually worn inside your riding pants or even the riding jacket. This is the lower base layer which I have over here. So there is an upper base layer too which I didn't get it still because it's out of stock from a long time in Rhinox. This is also from Rhinox and uh, I paid close to 1500 for this and it serves the purpose very recently. I would recommend you guys to get lower base layer whenever you uh, wear riding pants because the riding pants when you sit down, stand up and all those stuff when you do the normal uh, walking stuff it actually impacts your skin. It sometimes uh, pinches your skin 
So that is why we use a base layer and even it absorbs sweat very neatly. It's a dry fit material. Whenever uh, it absorbs sweat and you want to wash it on long rides, it just dries up in minutes. So it's very good and it's stretchable too. It's very stretchable. This also is antibacterial cloth and it also protects you from the UV rays. So I recommend this, highly recommend it. So let's now come to the main riding gear, which is the... So this is the Stealth Alpro jacket which I use. It's also from Dynox. It's a pretty good jacket for touring. Speaking about the functionalities, so the zipper over here, it can be opened in two ways too, even from the down. So if you just open this, whenever you uh, go to the washrooms and stuff, you can just open this up and it opens from the down part also. So there are two zips over here. Uh, speaking about the armors, everything over here is uh, CE level 2 armor. So you get the chest armor, the shoulders, the elbows and the back. This has the 1000D Cordiana material on the shoulders and the hands so that whenever you fall and slide on the road, it doesn't tear much easily. And uh, in the front, this mesh material, this, this is actually 600D polyester material and it actually has some coating on it so that like uh, dust or any liquid which falls on it doesn't stay on it. Whenever you wash it just goes away. Air intake is very good in this jacket. So the airflow is very good. It has four intake vents, four cross vents and two exhaust vents. We do have a set of reflectors in the front, even in the side and then the back. The back too has the reflectors. You don't need to get a separate uh, reflector jacket for this. So here, as you can see, there are chest armors and this is the back armor. And even it is uh, lumbar support belt compatible, you get the slots for it. So when you go on a long ride, you could just put on the belt to stay safe. So that you don't hurt your back. And it has a zipper liner in the bottom so that you can attach your uh, riding pants with this. And this jacket is actually compatible with uh, two liters of hydrogen pack. So you get a zip over here at the back so that you can put your uh, hydrogen packs inside so this actually has a hydrogen pack over here i got this separately uh, that you don't get an hydrogen pack with this jacket i got it separately uh, from uh, the brand named Raida. so the hydrogen pack is very good and this is the pipe for it i'm using this jacket from past eight months and I just felt one disadvantage of it. Whenever you have the hydrogen pack at the back, maybe a maximum of two liters one. So even if you put a liter of water, one liter of water, actually when you uh, put the zip and all those stuff, because of the weight of this hydrogen pack, the jacket actually goes backside and uh, you keep uh, feeling some pain in your neck uh, because of this collar, which tightens your neck like this, because the uh, weight of the hydrogen pack pulls uh, the jacket backside. So that's the only disadvantage I felt over here. So I would not recommend you to get a separate hydration bag for this. I would recommend you to get the normal hydration bag. I mean the pouch with the bag, which you can uh, just put put your bags on top of it. So this jacket costed me around 9,850 INR. It's, it's pretty good guys. I would recommend this jacket for touring. So the next riding gear, which is really very important, but it's omitted most of the times. It's the riding pants. So this riding pant is also from Rhinox. It's called the Stealth Evo Pants. And this is pretty much comfortable with my riding jacket. It is compatible with it because it also has a zipper lining over here so that I can attach my jacket with this. And speaking about this uh, riding pants, it has hip armor and a knee plus shin armor. So most of the riding pants only have a knee armor but this has a knee plus chin armor and which is also adjustable so you can just move it up and down there's a velcro given over there in this part so you can just move it up and down uh, according to your uh, knee height both the armors the hip armor and the knee plus chin armor are c level 2 armors it has a 600d uh, polyester material so that it it's like whenever you slide slide down the road so it won't tear very easily and even in this knee part there is a special foam material given so that it does not tear much 
very easily and uh, there are adjustable uh, belts too over here in the back side and there are reflectors both in, in the back side and even in the front side speaking about the vents in this so here there are two intake vents which you can see over here two intake vents over here and here and two outlet vents they have uh, some suppression material which is over here I'm not sure if you are able to see this one and even even it's in this in this knee section so this one actually helps a lot while uh, when you sit in these riding pants sit or stand up or do the normal things it's very useful with that so with this in pant you also get a winter liner which is attached inside that is very useful in places like lay uh, jnk etc and also you get a rain pant for that but you don't get it with this riding pants you have to buy it separately it's a pretty good decent uh, riding pant uh, from rhinox this costed me around uh, 8750 approximately and i am very much satisfied with this now speaking about the uh, rain coat and the rain pants for this jacket i used the rhinox one the rhinox has to go pro 3 rain jacket so this is a very good uh, rain jacket i have used it twice or thrice till now it doesn't uh, leave any water uh, inside uh, the jacket and uh, it also has a reflective material it has a uh, exhaust vent over here so that the hot air from inside just passes down and also you get a cap for this which is very good and it can be like uh, if you don't need this cap it, you could just fold it and keep it inside the collar so you have that option over here and it's 100% uh, waterproof even the zipper liner has a cover over here which is covered by a velcro so that uh, the water doesn't leak through the zipper lines uh, it's a special kind of material so that if it gets torn over here in this part that doesn't spread in other parts too so the if the cloth is torn over here it stays only here so that's the main advantage of this the price of this is the 1350 i know for this and it's worth it and this rain pant is from rhinox too this is also made up of same material where if it's like torn here it only stays here it does not spread or like uh, the torn part doesn't widen up this is very good and it even has uh, reflectors in the side and even in the back for example if you stop somewhere cause it's raining and you're wearing all your gears the riding pants the riding shoes you don't need to take your riding shoe off uh, to wear this they have given separate uh, zippers which is still here it's a very big zipper so that you can just uh, open the zipper and put your leg inside along with the riding shoe so this feature i felt it very useful the price is also pretty decent for this uh, for the pant i spent around 1350 ina and the pant is really good it does a pretty good job it doesn't leave any water inside and now in the end part of this video a very very ignored uh, riding gear is the riding shoes so this is actually a city riding shoe i'm yet to buy the tour riding shoes i plan for a uh, soles or uh, tarmac so until then till now i have used this in many rides this is from brand named ergo tally for city rides i would recommend this it does a pretty pretty decent job and uh, i didn't face any issue till now even i have uh, worn it in uh, heavy rains and uh, it can actually protect your leg uh, from rain up to some point of time so it's a pretty good uh, riding shoes guys if you are in a budget i got it got this for around 1600 bucks and that's very very low for this kind of shoes it does a pretty decent job and that's it guys i have shown all my riding gears if you have any queries please comment down below and i'll answer it immediately as soon as i see the comment please recommend me for future videos what you guys want to see in the video and uh, i'll try my very best to do it and speaking about my accessories which i use for vlogging and all my uh, gopros and all other stuff i'll make a separate video on it my vlogging setup so that will be the upcoming video and even i have few trips planned for now so please subscribe share and like the video guys and please do keep supporting thank you so much guys for watching the video This is Sachin signing off as a flower.